What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is. I ain't got to say it, but this video is for Dream Nation TV. You were speaking on your third eye being opened up and things happening and things going on in one of your videos. So this video is for you. Has anybody out there ever had reoccurring dreams, no matter what you were dreaming about? Because keep in mind, the soul, the energy, the mind, and the body is two different things. You are not in control of your dreams. Whatever happens, happens. And I call those dreams are actually other realms that exist. So let me jump right into the reoccurring dreams. I'm going to speak on two dreams. I'm going to speak on the first one because the first one was terrifying. The second one is a little freaky, but it's not. But the first one is. Okay. I always, when I fall asleep, I always wake up out of my bed. Okay. And I make way to the doorway. And just before I get to the door, a blonde female comes down from an attic ceiling. You know, the ceilings with a little square entrance and then you pull a string and then the stairs fall down. Well, she comes down one of those. Only thing is, is the stairs come down, but she don't use the stairs. She lets herself down like a sh if she's doing a pull up like that. She lets herself down, so it will be like this. And she's down, and she's right in front of me. Some people will say, well, that's not terrifying. Well, you have to be there to know. So every other night, nobody knows this. I'm speaking on it now, and I'm telling you, this dream happens every other night. This female drops down out of this crawl space in the attic and stands before me with long, blonde hair. Beautiful. But she has marble black eyes. I go to get past this woman because, I mean, when I say try to get past her, I'm trying to dart. I'm trying to bolt past her. But I can't because she's blocking me. As strong as I am, as big as I am, it doesn't matter when you're in them other realms. Whatever goes on, goes on. Okay? Your, your thoughts, your intelligence, all of that, you have that. But for some reason, you're not in control of everything you do. Whatever happens, it's just going It's just going with the flow. I try to push this woman. I can't move her. It's like moving a tank. It's like moving a house. I, I actually push this person. It's like pushing on a steel wall. Okay? Then I eventually wake up. Next couple nights go past. I wake up out of the bed. Same thing, but only I do not know that this is going on. Okay, keep in mind, once I fall asleep, I, I know what's going on here in this realm. Okay, you, use your third eye. Listen to me. I know what's going on in this realm, but when you start to go into that so-called dream state, that other realm, you are not in control of that. So therefore, you're going if, if, if your dreams uh, are reoccurring, you don't catch on that this is a rerun. So you go on with it. So every time this woman comes down. But for some reason when she comes down and I'm pushing her, I'm farther in the house. Farther than the doorway. I'm in another part of the house trying to move this woman out of my way. Never seen this woman before. Not here. Okay, I know who she is now because when I wake up, it's like, wow, I keep having, I keep having it, but I never tell me you're the first person I'm telling that this is reoccurring. I've told somebody before about the dream, but you are the first person that I'm telling that this is a reoccurring, vivid dream, vivid, how real and bold and strong it is. Now, let me jump right into, oh, and by the way, that dream, it never ends. It never, I'm still having that right now. But I'm just in other parts of the house when this woman comes to me. Now, let me tell you something that's a little crazy. I woke up, okay, on an airplane. And this is a commercial jetliner. And I've always wanted to be, I'm not going to say famous, because I am famous. We all are famous in our own way. Fame means everybody know your name. But I was... If we could get fame out the way, I'll say a billionaire. Tyrese Gibson, the actor that played in a lot of movies. He played in Fast and the Furious. He played in Baby Boy. He played, oh, he was actually, he did the Coca-Cola commercial. He was a fitness model. I don't know if the reason why I was having his dreams because one day I'm going to get one of these deals. Hey, you never know. 
Never count out your sticks. You never know. But I woke up on an airplane. And I was sitting next to Tyrese Gibson, the actor. Not only sitting next to him, we were having a conversation like we've known each other for years. Like he was a real homeboy. I was cool with here in real life. Like, you know, like in this realm here. Like I known this dude like he was my brother or something. So we talking and we talking. The only thing I don't remember is what we were talking about. But we were having this conversation, chopping it up, talking, blah, blah, blah. The, the woman comes through the airplane in the middle of the aisle, the the uh, the, the airline um, flight attendants. She comes through with the cart and she turns over and she looks at us and asks us, do we want something to eat? And I told her, because I'm afraid to fly, I said, I'll take one of them drinks. Took the drink and I shot the drink. Maybe 30 seconds after she passed us, turbulence, the plane started to woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We started to go down and the captains was hollering, everybody braced for impact. And I will never forget my stomach, my chest, my stomach going up in my, my lungs, going through my throat, everything just going all kinds of way because I was terrified. So my stomach fell. And then I woke up in my bed. Oh, that was terrifying. I don't want to do that again. Two days, two days later, the same dream. Same thing happened, okay? But when I blacked out in that dream the first time is when, when I woke up, not blacked out, but I woke up back in my bed after the plane started to descend and they said, brace for impact. Well, farther in that dream, everything happened the same way over and over, okay? It got to the, when he, they said brace for impact, this time the plane went down and I got to enjoy, I'm not gonna say enjoy, I got to feel the ride as it's going down. Okay, and I remember looking out the window, seeing the clouds, and then five seconds after seeing those clouds, I looked down and I saw ocean and beach shore. He looked at me and I looked at him and I wanted to say something to him and I woke up again. Two days went past. I had the same dream again. It came back. Now, this is the final one. Once, now remember everything I said in the first part. When the plane went down and I saw the clouds, and then I saw the beach and the ocean. I looked at him and I said, is this really happening? And I'll never forget as we coming down to the, to the, to the shore, the plane leveled out like this. We was going to crash no matter what. Then I remember the pilot saying again, brace for impact. All I remember, if you remember Wonder Woman, most people don't remember Wonder Woman, the cartoon. She had an invisible ship. Well, the, the, or the plane was transparent. You could see through. So I saw all the passengers. I saw the, the, the ghost of the plane, the ghost of the plane, but yet I could still see outside and I could see the beach. The front end of the plane broke off and it went wherever. The only thing left was the jagged edges of the metal and all I could see was beach and sky and ocean in front of us. There was no pilot. There was no co-pilot. That was gone. There was no control. We was going down. But we was falling real slow. And I'll never forget all the seats ripping out, flying people going this way, going that way. But once again, I was falling real slow. I didn't see Tyrese Gibson after that. All I know is I hit the beach shore. Poof! It didn't hurt. I got up. I'm looking around. We're looking for uh, emergency equipment, water bottles, and stuff like that. Pow! Woke up. Three days later, y'all. I jive y'all not. I relived that same dream, the same way I told you, over and over again. Now it's been a good five months since I've had that dream. I don't want that dream again, but I'm going to tell you what that dream was telling me. Do not take yourself up in another plane as long as you live. Do not get in an airplane. I know people love to fly. By all means, do what you do. I'm not trying to scare nobody out of flying. And I know I'm not going to scare nobody out of flying, but I'm talking about me. That dream told me do not get in an airplane as long as you live. First of all, you were born with legs. You were born on the ground. We were not meant to fly. If it take me 12 days to get to another state, another country, then so be it. I'm going to take them 12 days. 
It wasn't meant for me to get it. See, these dreams that you have, they do have meaning, but it's up to you to figure out what that dream means. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have, dreams are warnings. Dreams give you warning, okay? Premonitions, if you want to call it. So Dream Nation TV, Pinky, there you go. Much love, stay safe, and keep making your videos.